What's your name? Kojo ya bua bua ma. Nana kojo ya bua bua ma. Yes. Please, how old are you? I was 35 just last for August. Oh wow! Thank you. Happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you. Where are you calling from, please? I'm from Obuasi. Obuasi. I'm calling from Obuasi. Um. What do you do for a living? I'm a miner. I work in a mining company. Mining company. Okay, so for the sake of the show, I repeat what you said. You are Nana. Buama, right? And you are you are ten five yes. years. You are calling from Obuasi. Yeah. You are in the mining company. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. You are kids. You are. Do I have kids? Yeah. Yes, I have one boy. Okay. I have a a, a, a son. Okay. I have a son. I'm taking good care of him. He's he's with the mom and everything. The mom and I, it didn't work out, but we are just being good parents to the boy, so we are good. Okay, okay so when was your last relationship? Oh, uh, hmm. <laughs> this question is funny. Sometimes I don't know how to answer it. It's, it's like you don't know whether you call it a relationship or not. You are with somebody, there is a distance between you. It comes a time that she tells you because of the distance and the travel and the stuff involved. We dated for like six to eight months. So sometimes I don't know how to call whether it was a relationship because we saw ourselves like two, three times. That was it. It was in Accra at that time I was working in Sunyang. So this time and the work she was doing has no way she can be transferred to my place. I can be transferred to Accra, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't viable as it wasn't something that could happen that easy because i worked with the company not up to five years and you can get a transfer only when you, you've worked with them for five years so it's like that so we had to break off some way be like that so i would say a year because it was last year august oh okay yeah okay, yeah so good. this is i've been single since since last year august so this is me Okay, so what are some of your deal breakers? What don't you like about a partner? What don't I like? I'm attracted to smartness. So some of the things that piss me off is a lady who cannot think on her feet. You understand? I don't have to be telling you every day like do this, do that, do that, do this, do that, do that, do that. I, I like I like you to be free. And do whatever you like, knowing very well I'm okay. Like, I don't have to be thinking about what you are doing for the day. I'm away, and because my job takes me away from you, you understand? Okay. Unless maybe you want to move to my mining site to be with me, fine. But if not that you are somewhere, I shouldn't be telling you every day, like, when you do this, do that, I need to call you, like, check up, hey, have you done this, have you done that? No. I want a lady who can think on her feet, who understand what she wants and have a plan so that we put our plans together and work towards the future. You understand? Yeah. yeah. Apart from that, I think the only issue has to deal with, uh, I have no issue with tribe, I have no issue with churches, just that of late, these churches are even dividing us more than how tribalism was. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sometimes I go into a tribe. I'm an Ashanti. You can't marry this tribe. You can't marry that tribe. I'm a Muslim. You can't marry. You understand? But now the churches are even dividing us more. I'm your typical Catholic man. Some churches are okay with the Catholics. Some churches are not okay. We are okay with every church. But you know, sometimes these churches have rules they set for their congregations that affect relationship and stuff. You understand? Yeah. So apart from that, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm somebody who is somehow big. You can see I'm a fat boy. So normally I don't I don't go for somebody who is also fat like me. Apart from okay. that, that is it. But I think uh, when you start to deal with preference like taste and spec, you don't get a good lady. So I'm an open-minded person. I understand things. You understand? Yeah. So I just need somebody who 
What do you need? Love, respect. As a man, that's all that we need. Yeah. I'm not looking for a lady who definitely you need to be working because at, at my stage I can't be I can't be with a student. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. I can't be with a student. Okay. Because I'm ready for marriage. I want to make kids and stuff. But if you're a student, maybe you're not ready to make kids. You're not ready to settle down and stuff. So my timelines are kind of limited because of maybe my age. There's no pressure on me though, but at least by the age of 37, you should be married and be having kids. You get my point? There's yeah. no pressure, but at least because of life expectancy, you, you expect to be within certain range or age or something. So apart from that, I'm good. I'm good. It doesn't matter whether the person is in Ghana, is abroad, uh, Africa, wherever the person is. I'm good. Okay, sounds good. So, what age range are you looking for? Oh, maybe twenty-eight to thirty-two, thirty-three. I'm okay. Age to me is not really a matter because there are some ladies they look old but their age is small. Some too they look young but their age is big. It's about the chemistry, the understanding, the connection between the two of you. If the person can be thirty-five. The, the person can be more than older than me, thirty-six, thirty-seven. But we might be working because I have the face of somebody who looks like 45 years old. So once I'm with you, people may think I'm older than you, but maybe you're older than me. But it doesn't matter. It's about the chemistry. Even with forget about age and those things. It doesn't really matter to me. You understand? This okay. ladies who really want like, well, I want a man who is older than me and stuff like that. To me, it's not a problem. It's about the maturity level. And maturity has nothing to do with age. If the person is matured, if the person can comprehend certain simple, simple things, you are good. It's just a matter of respect for each other. If we respect each other, we care for each other, we understand each other. That is it. Age is just, it's just a number. number. You understand? Yeah. Yes. I can deal with somebody who has, I can deal with somebody who has a child, but no more than one, at least. So if I have a, if I have a son and you have a child, we put our case together. We have like one or two in addition, and we are good. Uh, yeah. Do you like a long? Oh, as I said, any place. I'm, I'm, you know, it gets to a time, it becomes a problem. Maybe the person is doing some private work, and it, it becomes so difficult for you to maybe transfer whatever she's doing, maybe in Accra, Kumasi, Sunyan, wherever it is. It becomes so difficult for you to transfer those that kind of business. To where I am, because you know, my job is is situated at one place. Okay. It's a gold mining yeah. company, so we are at one place. I can't be moved because my work is technical. I can't be moved to our corporate office in Accra or somewhere. Okay. So mine is have to be on the field here. Yeah. So to the distance that doesn't matter. From okay. here to Accra is like four hours. From here oh. to Kumasi is one hour. So the distance doesn't really matter. As I said, it's about the understanding. It's about the understanding. I get three days of work after every six days of work. And it can be any time. It can be on weekends, weekday. It's just three days of work, just like any nurse, doctor, or those in the health industry, how they work. So if oh. I get my off days and I can I can travel to you, cool. If you if you also think you have off days and so you can travel to me, cool. It doesn't really matter the distance. It can be outside the country, it can be in, inside Africa, wherever. It's okay. As yeah. I said, it's love is really about understanding. If you understand the person and know the demand of his or her work, you guys can work things out and everybody will be okay. Okay. So which medium should your partner, your future partner reach you? As I said, me, everything about me is real. What you see is what you get. So my phone numbers are there. If you want, I can give it out. Facebook, my name is there. You can reach out. I'm on Twitter. I'm on I'm, I'm on IG, but I don't go there that much. So it's WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, which is now called X, uh, phone calls, whatever. Okay. So, so any, any of the medium, I'm okay. If any. Which one do you want to give out? Is it the Facebook or your phone number? Or yeah, Facebook. The person, the person can DM me. Okay. 
I think when Have they DM me, we can exchange numbers. Yeah. We can exchange numbers on the Facebook. So okay. my name is Nana Kwejo Yeboa Boa Mama. Okay. Nana, Nana Kwejo. Nana is normal N E N A. Kwejo is K W A D W O. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yeboa is Y E B O A H. Okay. Boa Mama is B O M E H. That's my name. Okay. Okay. So please, ladies. If you are here, please contact our brother Nana Buama. I like to say the Nana Buama because my mate was. So it's Nana Yebua rather. Nana Yebua. Oh, okay. Nana Yebua. Nana Yebua. Oh, okay. It's Nana Yebua. Yeah, the Buama is my same name, but the Nana is from my my granddad who I was named after. So he was Nana Yebua Siama. So, okay. so if you want to call me Nana, it's Nana Yebua. Okay. Mr. Buama is my name. Okay. So ladies, if you want to buy, you are Kwejo. You are Kwejo. I am also Ajoa. So nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So please, if you want to, if I'm getting the vibe and everything, kindly contact our brother, Yebua. <coughs> all the best to Nana and all the best to the ladies on the platform and everyone. So yes, thank you for coming to the show. We are wishing you all Thank the you. Best. Bye. Bye.